What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another video. Rapid Fire. Let's. Coming to you with another video. Crypto Muscle. The Crypto Muscle Network. The most electrified YouTuber there is today. Coming to you with another video. Alright. Let's just get to it. Alright. Uh, I started off a little bit different today with the funds of videos. Fun to have funds. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to flip the script a little bit. Let's do a little bit of news action. So much has gone on over the course of the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. So I say, let's just talk about it. I, you know, I enjoy talking about the news. I mean, you know, the crypto news, keeping you guys in the information loop. All right, because you know how they say the information superhighway. This is information crypto highway. All right, we just keep it rolling and going, and this is what it's all about. So let's just see what's going on today. All right, let me see here. Let me see here. A lot of stuff's been going on. BTC back down. To, it's been kind of hovering around the twenty thousand range right now. So all I got to say is, uh, hang on. To your seats because it's going to keep going down. Ah, here's something big that just happened after I reported my news yesterday. Like, this is what happened. Voyager has issued a notice of default to Three Arrows Capital. All right, so that's some big time news right there. And, uh, oh, and on top of that, this is a little bit of an add-on yesterday as well that I'd said about Nexo, how the co-founders was like skimming the books off of charity or whatever. And look at this. Now there's a notice to cease and desist, huh? So let's take a quick look at um, this Voyager deal here. So uh, all right, let me get, give me all your cookies. So uh, three years capital for failure to make payments on previously disclosed loan. Wow, three arrows capital, all right, failure to make required payments on a previously disclosed loan of 15,000 BTC and 350 million USDC. Voyager intends to pursue recovery from 3AC and is in discussions with the company's advisors to legal remedies. All I got to say is, wow. As of June 24th, 2022, Voyager says, uh, has approximately 137 million cash and owned crypto assets on hand. So uh, the company also has access to previously unannounced or previously announced 200 million cash and a 15,000 BTC revolver from Alameda Ventures. Wow, man! In a sense, you know, it's good to be the collector only if they're able to collect. <laughs> that's the thing, right? That's a lot of stuff to collect here. But that's that's the part about. Being the person to finance or loan somebody is just, oh, it's a pain to ask get that money back. So, look at this all in, logging in a statement. I'm not going to read that crap. Um, but, yeah, so, let's see. That's uh, Voyager. So, we'll see what happens on that one. What's going to happen? I, th I think, uh, well, I don't know. I'm not an expert, but Three Arrows Capital is going down, all right? It's going down badly. Meet me at the park. It's going down. Notice to cease and desist on the Nexo group. For um, they said that they have established, uh, they sustained an impeccable reputation since 2017 until now. Uh, they are currently engaged in malicious spreading. Uh, what is this here? Um, you're currently. What is all this crap, man? Look at this long ass thing here, man. So I guess um, uh, let's see. Okay, so I, I I get what they're saying here. So they're trying to uh, send a cease and desist letter. I, I misworded it here uh, to the people that is putting out information about them skimming from the charity, or whatever, and that. They're saying that, that they're being defamed and all this other crap, and you know, just dis, you know, disparaged and all this other and blah 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 blah. So they're trying to just send out a letter for cease and desist, according to their legal and regulatory compliance team, to those people. 
that I put out that information about them. But you never know. Sometimes when there's smoke, there's fire. All right. That's all I got to say about that. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Doomed to fail. Tether shorts pile in a head and as hedge fund seeks to profit from crypto winter. Okay, okay. So, doomed to fail, huh? Wow, what is that? What, what are they going to do with Tether here? I got a, I got a lot tied up in Tether. <laughs> I, better, I, got, I might have to move it, huh? Uh, let's see. The crypto ecosystem is dealing with the fallout caused by the collapse of the Tether ecosystem. The company behind the stablecoin USDT, Tether, is being targeted by hedge funds. All right. According to rumors, hedge funds has been opening short positions on Tether and have been actively seeking to create a panic. Oh, man, look at that. Trying to create a panic. Uh, what a bunch of douches. Uh, peg one-to-one -to, -one to the value of U.S. dollar. These entities might be trying to replicate the events that crashed Luna and UST. Bunch of dicks. Uh, you know, that... that Look at that, man. Trying to mess up something of a good thing here. So, there's been attempts to do it. And, um, but the thing is, though, is that it's not an algorithmic stable coin, though. Unlike all these other shit coins, stable coins that, that's been happening, those are algorithmic created stable coins. So, you notice that every one of those algorithmic stable coins have had issues, right? Uh, this had a, a minor blip. I think it was just because of the market conditions that reacted on it, but it was just based on what happened to the algorithmic stable coins, not to this itself. So I think it'd be kind of hard to do to this, but I'm not saying it's impossible because that's something I'll never say because anything is possible, but um, these algorithmic ones, they're more riskier because, uh, you know, there's, there's more to it, um, within, and, uh, I wouldn't even touch those algorithmic stable coins because, uh, it, it kind of creates, uh, hypey atmosphere on a, large large scale level and that I wouldn't want to touch that crap because when you got all that money tied up into it oh man it's gonna just one day catch you off guard and boom it's gone so screw that shit so um, let's see here these entities have been allegedly spreading fear and certainty and doubt on the stable coin such rumors that they claim that Tether is not backed by 100% real assets and it was exposed to failed investments. Man. Man, man, these dicks, man, trying to trying to do all this crap. Man, this is not an algorithmic stablecoin, so screw it. All right? Those dumbass douchebags. Trying to screw up a good thing here. Glad it isn't. Glad I didn't put my money in Terra... UST and stuff. That's all I got to say. All right, so let's keep it moving here. What else we got going on? Celsius seeks show client support as lawyers push for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. They want to clear the books. All right. So all these uh, crypto lending lenders is different from the lending platform days of platforms. All right. Because those days were just platforms. Uh, that created an atmosphere of uh, lending shitcoins for your real crypto. Here, these crypto lenders are actual real crypto exchanges that do lending of money. And just like in any sort of situation, uh, it's kind of like the housing market, right? Big ass bubble uh, that happened in the late 2000, you know, whatever, 7, 2008. You know, oh, hyperinflated, holy shit, man, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. But shit, one of these days, that bubble's going to burst, and that's what happened. The bubble bursted, fall out of the housing market, crashed, doom, and that's what's happening right now. The bubble bursted on the Bitcoin bubble because it inflated, 
hyperinflated to $69,000 or whatever. And I owe you one. And then, uh, you get it? 69 and I owe you one. And then, uh, you know, it bursted. Boom. And then the fallout of crypto is happening, right? It crashed. Well, maybe it wasn't that high, but it was around the $30,000 mark. And then, boom, it crashed down to 20000 ish. And now it's at 20000 right now. And so... That's the ramifications of a bubble bursting market, and that's what these lending platform lenders are experiencing right now. All these lenders, Celsius, Three Arrows Capital, you name it, right? Terra, every one of them. So, let's see, $12.8 trillion in gold deposits discovered in Uganda, doubling the supply of all the gold mines since the beginning of mankind. Wow, okay. If you want to go get some gold, go to Uganda. Uh, let's see what we else do we got going on here. All right, notice the default chapter eleven. Uh, Friedman or Bankman Frieds Frieds FTX says no talks to acquire Robinhood. Okay, I guess there was talks of it. Well, they are. They said no. They squashed that. Maker Governance is voting to invest five hundred million in U.S. Treasury bills. And around 100, uh, 1.43 million BTC changed hands between the recent 17,000 low and current price of 21,006. Uh, see, anyhow, let's see here. We're gonna we gotta keep it pumping and, and flowing here on the news. See, breaking. Uh, well, we already know that one. So that's that was the biggest thing right there. Terra has 3.6 billion in UST and USDT, according to the report. What? What did they do? They got that stashed away for a rainy day that they didn't want to tell nobody about, and now it's been discovered. That's nah, pretty funny right here. <laughs> Do Kwan and Michael Saylor. It's kind of funny. Two men, two charged for allegedly planning to steal tens of millions of dollars in Bitcoin. Uh, let's see. All right. Markets recovered despite ongoing liquidity issues. Well, maybe a slight recovery, but that's not, there's nothing right now. This is kind of just flattening out a little bit, but no, that's not even a, a recovery at all. If you call that a recovery right now, you call this 21, uh, under $21,000 Bitcoin or a recovery? You kidding me? No way. So, Anonymous vows to bring Do Kwan's crimes to light. Thank you. Because I, every time I talk about Do Kwan, everything I kept saying is that everything he's done has been criminal. But yet, oh, this has come out with 2.0 and uh, we'll restart. We'll reboot this thing. and Nothing to see here. We're all good. And it's like, uh, wait a second. But you guys, you and your cronies, I mean, literally just drained you know, Terra Nova, the company, uh, USDT, and and all the you know shit in it, and then you're just gonna just say, oh, we're gonna start a new one. We'll start fresh, just like that. Get out of here with that shit. So yeah, uh, uh, kudos to Anonymous for doing that. All right, or I guess they will be doing that. And so that Harmony team that said that uh, their bridge got hacked, right? Just like the Axie. Infinity Bridge, they got hacked for like 600 million. Well, this one got hacked for 100 million. And the Harmony team uh, that got their bridge exploited have said they're going to put out a $1 million offer to the hacker. Come on, so you're telling me 100 million got hacked and you're going to offer the hacker a million dollars? That's a big discrepancy there. So. Uh, I would say that uh, that hacker is going to say no to that. So, um, just saying. But uh, 2022 bear market has been the worst on record. Oh, man. We're just scratching the surface. This is a scratch. So, uh, so yeah, there's more about that Nexo thing. It's just a smear campaign. I don't know. I kind of believe it. Like, it, it just came out of nowhere. I, I kind of believe it, you know. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens on that. But yeah, I think uh, that'll do it. Look at Dogecoin price could rally 20% in July. Pfft. Doge is just a meme coin. Remember that, guys. 
So yeah, that's the latest information. Just wanted to bring you more news that's been going around. And uh, other than that, I'll see you in the next one.